All right, hello and welcome everyone. So today I'm going to be going through some rot priesting action with uh, Eladomri's call here. So pretty excited with that. So I've been really liking this build for rot priest over kind of the, you know, rot priest storm kind of hybrid a little bit myself. You know, not to say like, you know, one's like bad at all. Um, I've just not been able to kind of figure out with that over just uh, really liking, you know, kind of the straight storm list myself. Um, with that, um, so we'll be uh, playing in here with uh, this Rob Priest build. So we actually are almost in time here for um, Modern Prelim here. So we will be trying this um, in uh, really here. So that's kind of cool here to see like the Prelim uh, kind of popping off. But um, we're actually in the league. Uh, Going to go through a league here with uh, Rob Priest call. Um, of course, uh, kind of a, a few of the things I have here. So I have an Emrakul on the sideboard um, as a, a new wish target. Uh, not, like, you know, the, or not a wish target, sorry, but uh, kind of an old Armory's Call like thing that we think of, but actually it's mostly just for mill. Um, I've been noticing a lot of that popping up in uh, the leagues kind of over the past uh, few days now that we have uh, Phyrexia released and all that. So just kind of a, a backup there that that's what that's mostly for so you know of course uh that kind of frees up a slot for any non uh mill metas um i'm also running a thrasty here so um this is like another card we can wish for that kind of goes tall so if we want to like kind of switch to an attack mode um it's easy for us to cast enough spells in one turn um so if we like eldamri's call for it on instep we just have to cast like three spells really um and uh it can cost three, which will probably be enough, and then we can attack for seven. Um, dodges Unholy Heat, which is kind of nice, you know, stuff like that. So it's kind of like an emergency backup. Uh, we have the One Fury to answer um, some stuff there. And then also I have a One Magus of the, the Moon here, and this is also for Amulet, those type of things, um, just so we can uh, have kind of a nice backdoor out to uh, those decks and, um, you know, be able to hold down call for it. Pretty sweet there. Uh, main deck wise, haven't really changed much. Um, been really happy with kind of this core. Um, I, I like the two Utopia sprawls. I know a lot of people are kind of a little more mad on it. Um, but uh, I like having the additional acceleration, so I have six of those. Since like with Eldarmy's Call, we do kind of have turns where we really want like four ish mana, like just casting a spell scan on a turn. So we can set up like. Wind up again. Oh, there we go. What we like to play first? Um, yes. This hand is awkward. Hmm. I think we have to mulligan this since we don't have any of our tutors, no nothing. Um, I will keep this actually. I'm gonna put back a forest. It might seem a bit weird, but we want to have two uh, red mana for our ground rifts, possibly. So. Kind of important. We do have a bit of a color issue here since, you know, kind of one of the things with the Naya version, so. That, oh. Um, with, uh, no, I've, I've tried to fit a few leagues with uh, Call. I've been really liking kind of this shell uh, with uh, the Call version. You can also find that on, on my YouTube as well. Um, don't think Stream Deck. Uh, huh. Yeah, stream deck should be up. I did update it this morning. Um, yeah, under current deck. I'm surprised that didn't uh, go through. Yeah. Oh, I thought supposed to. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, I definitely will be responding to that. Yeah, I did see that right before I went live. Uh, JS. All right. Um. All right. That wasn't terrible. I like to pay two life. Um, sure, why not? Cast Rod Priest. They can't really do much about it. Um, hmm. so I have two ground rifts. Like, the question is, what would I Eladomri's call for? Oh, I think I have an idea. So, I will attack for one. I oh, just very slow. Okay. Uh, thanks for the heads up, though. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
on force mainly. Yeah, I'm down to one as well. Like kind of just as like a yeah, it's it's not the best. Like I, I definitely think the nature's claim is way better, and force is kind of the the worst of the bunch for sure. Um, return opponent. So bad to cast. Yeah, like I'm down to one in this list as well. Um, this is like you know, in some of the faster matchups, kind of like having one copy might not be the worst. But yeah, it definitely feels awful to cast. Like we're so dependent on. Certain stuff working. Um. Hmm. All right. Well. Uh, no, I'm just gonna go to my turn. Mutagenic was good. Um. There. Uh. So this can be one, two, three. So one, two, five. So it'd be six total. Guess if I would have. Grab the Rod Priest, it would have been lethal. Hmm. What to do here? I'm just going to say go, I think. Um, yeah, we'll just say go. I have an idea. Um... Like, my thought process here is if we get to just kind of do whatever on their turn, um, like, my hope is that they just cast Shardless Agent and wreck me. Or at least my board state. That's fine. Sure. Hmm. Cardless agent? Alright. That's fine. I have responses. To this thing. Let me make sure. Do they have anything weird? No. Just pretty normal stuff. Um, we're going to cast Eldamri's Call. I would like to grab Venerated Rod Priest. All right, um, let's draw Morphos into land. London Harvest is really good, All right? Yeah, that's good enough. Land. Two, three. Let's dead you. <laughs> then yep, storm four. And we also didn't even need to have the extra attack. This will be a total of 11, so, but we get the extra one from the, the mutagenic here. And also the attack last turn got them uh, one of the toxics. So that was pretty sweet. Oh, one, one away, okay, yeah. Uh, Discord. Oh, appreciate the writer here, but yeah, like I guess for against like hammer, it's just like we're we're just like racing, right? So it's kind of like both. Like it won't really feel like a game to to both parties most of the time. But like you know, we're about the same speed. At least like in my experience, like against hammer, it's kind of felt like that. <laughs> um, with the deck. Um, all right, so I believe Silence is a good card. Um, I guess I'll bring in a Magus as well. But, um, some Abundant Harvests and two Gather Courage. They're not really doing much. I'm bringing in the one Magus just kind of as a YOLO strat um, against them. Um... I'll shape, or no, I'll keep in the grape shot then. Um, yeah. Just bring the Magus, maybe, like, if it's worth, if they don't fetch around it, I might be able to, like, lock them out a little bit. Uh, the Fury. Um, basically, like, for against, um, I was thinking more along the lines of against, like, Hammer and stuff. 
Like, but I guess like with Force of Vigor, it's kind of awkward. It's been like mostly where I like it is against like that. Also with Yogmoth and things like that. Like Yogmoth mostly, especially like Hammer was the initial like, yo, we need something, but like Yogmoth was the kind of keep it in there. Um, I'll keep this. Since uh, killing their mana dorks, like you know, you can get a two, like a two for two out of it a lot of the time against them, and it's a, is actually still like really relevant. Yeah, since they play scrub, well, I mean, like they have protection spells, yeah, for sure. I don't think like them having scrub in their deck is a reason not to. It's like straight up not like it at all. But yeah, it's like it's kind of awkward in the matchup. I'm still trying to figure out like because I, I want something that I want to uh, call for against them. Uh, Underworld Breach isn't worth it. Um, Underworld Breach wouldn't be worth it in this build. I'm not trying to maximize my, my graveyard, really, with it. Um, in this one. Oh, that's really bad for me. Alright, well, get wrecked, me. Um, yeah, this game is not good. Like, the, the Ley Line is, is very good against us, because it stops our poison kill. So I need to board in the Nature's Clan. All right, Carbo Forest, land, return opponent. Oh, we're in Edinburgh. Oh, thanks so much for 58 months. Really appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's see. All right, return opponent. Like, we still can attack them to death. So that is a thing. Um, they missed a land drop. That's fine. Miss another one. Yes. I should have got a forest there or a stomping ground. Then do this here. <laughs> Alright, your turn opponent. <laughs> so we just need uh if only we'd board in our Thrasta. Oh wow, are we gonna kill them with Magus and attacks? Down with us. Alright. Time to make green white. Hold on, Reese Call. I'll grab Rob Priest. Cast Rob Priest. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think that. Uh, yeah, I did. Thank you so much, yeah, for, for all your help, Warren. I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for. Help guide me through stuff too. Really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Leyline is gonna be a problem. They're they're missing land drops though. I'm down with this. Um Alright. Huh. How do we get through this the best way possible? Um play another rot priest. I land. I'm trying to think what else. Actually, I have an idea. So I will, since Storm Count won't really matter, because we can't even Grape Shot them. Uh, so yeah, green, white. Well, I tapped really bad. So I could have another Rod Priest in play. Um, but I will actually, okay, you can Force Negation that, I don't mind. Um, since I would have had, uh, if I had had the green, but I could get Cantor there, and we're just attacking anyway. This Mutagenic Growth is uh, going to do work. All right. For you. Dragon Rich. Uh, green, white. Eldamri's call. Um, let's just get another Rod Priest, I guess. 
<clears throat> Your turn, opponent. Crop Priest does target, yeah. Which is unfortunate. Uh oh. They have blue and red. They don't have green yet. Um. All right. Yeah, I should have got the Cantor with the other Rod Priest, though. All right, so the third Rod Priest. All right, there it's six. Six poison. <laughs> Jeez. Does Lumion run a basic forest? I believe they do. I'll sky. Okay. Exaxes. Yeah. That was really cool. I remember that. That was exciting. We got to attack for exactly so we got them to exactly nine poison and zero life. That, this hand seems okay. It's a bit greedy. That was bad. Second Rich, your turn opponent. So I'm assuming we'll turn to Eldamri's call. Are they gonna No, they're not gonna do anything. It's fine. Alright, I'll play one swift to go. Question here is now what do I grab? Um so for instance here, are they gonna ice something? And I'm going to cast and respond. Because they're tapped out, so they can't randomly spell snare me. They can force negation, sure. Um, I'm at 14. Do I want another Rot Priest, or do I want um, Bellskite? I'm going to grab another Rot Priest, actually. Might be more advantageous to just get the double priest down. So if I if I happen to draw a ground rift, it's like also a little less uh, intense on my life total. I already have four life that I'm paying. All right, I could be getting um, what you call it next turn, uh, Archon. All right, um, I will fetch, grab a basic, flashback, uh, strike it rich. Your turn. You can counter this. That's also fine. I was like, oh, that's so awesome. I'm so glad you're really loving it. Yeah, like this this list is like really fun because it's, you know, a whole different world. Like, you know, being, a, being you know, kind of more like we're, uh, like we're getting to be Storm, but at the same time, it kind of feels like we're also like somewhat like devoted to it, you know? <laughs> Sky? Yeah. Sky would have been maybe a better call. Um, I was just debating about, like, the life total mattering, but, like, the triple rod priest, like, we're, we're, we're kind of, like, no matter what, even with this guy, like, this guy, like, kind of priced into two rod priests surviving or having double up. Um, awkward. Guess I just play this say go. Ooh, double rod priest without a ground rift? That's sweet. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. Us not having any, like, card advantage type creatures here. It's also kind of awkward. Huh. Bad things happening to us? Not yet. Um. Well. Alright, Utopia Sprawl is looking real bad. <laughs> but I'm holding these back, um... Mainly because they're somewhat free on the go off turn, and maybe I need the the storm count. Oh, that's upside down. Yeah. Well, oh, the epic storm list. Yeah. That is also good. Yeah, but like you know, kind of like the um, 
doing both the storm, like you know, the storm and breach thing, and also the the wrath priest. Um, which like here is kind of like an exemplifier. Like you know, if you have the time, like it it's definitely great to be able to cast everything out of the yard like that. Um, here, yeah, I think we're dead now. If they're gonna like triple arc on us next turn. Yeah, now it's like real bad because we get triple archon. Yeah, Utopia Sprawls might not be as great. I might be kind of leaning too hard in that direction with the. Yeah. Yeah, full girl storm. It's really hard to kind of like, yeah, thread the needle on that for sure. All right. Are bad things happening to me? Yeah, maybe I should have played the Utopia Sprawls now that I'm thinking about it. Like, we'd have six mana in play. Could be better. They do have mana leak in their deck. Okay. Well, I'll play a Utopia Sprawl on a forest, see what they do. If this was a ground drift, that would have been super good. Um, I guess I'll add a green. So we can try this. All right, drop race. Drop race. Yeah, I don't think we get one more turn. That's why I'm like kind of going for it. See what they do. The casting, really casting. Oh, fatal push. That's a problem. Was not expecting that. Return opponent. Yeah, now we're dead. Yeah, this deck doesn't have as much grind power, which is also kind of awkward. Bolt? Alright, gather courage. If we had the ground rift, that would have been sick this turn. But yeah, that was the reason I felt like going forward is like maybe they'll let it resolve. Um, might have just been too early. Hold back the two Utopia Sprawls. Um, okay. Interesting. Yeah, we would have we would have crushed it. All right, don't have it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. I get a turn? Good cards, please. Well, F. All right, your turn, opponent. All right, er, do I just attack here? I think I just attack. Oh, I have to attack uh, Ren and Six, right? Attack run in six. Yeah, I'm just dead to everything. Because I get to emblem. All right. Yeah, I went for it one turn too early there. Wouldn't have ended up mattering, but yeah, something to keep uh, aware of. All right, Veil of Summer is going to be good. Post board. Keep a grape shot. Um, what the Utopia Sprawls actually in the London Harvest? What else might I want in this matchup? Maybe a Magus, since they they have um all that weird stuff kind of going on. We do have Silence, which can do some stuff. Um, I like the Veil since they're kind of counterspell heavy. Um, yeah, let's try it out. Like, if they have a uh, Leyline on the Void post board, that'll be something else, too. <laughs> oh, but hey, Bubbles, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Let's see what we can do in uh, the second game. Not sure about Nature's Claim. Like, if, if they show us, um, like, Leyline. Which I don't think they would, because like you know we kind of showed we didn't show them like uh, breach or anything, but 
awkward. Uh, mulligan this. This is better. I will keep this. Um, put back a Morphos. Done. Your turn, opponent. Interesting. All right, three lands isn't bad. We'll have to fetch shock again. Cast. Faggot Rich. Cool. Your turn, opponent. All right. Um. I'm gonna flashback Strike and Rich off of uh, first tier. They want to counter it, so be it. That's fine with me. Okay. Uh, we have plenty of mana. We just need a way to win the game. They do have up black mana, so maybe they have a fatal push up. Makes me think they also might have the persist engine going too. Okay, or is this Fable? Alright, you have Fable. Top deck, Morphos into Ground Rift, or Land. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, oh well, well, not a bit this, uh, this game, but it happens. Get the land out of our deck. <laughs> Ugh, that's real bad. Yep, we have yet to draw a uh, online card. Or have we drawn one? We might have. Yeah. <laughs> Not great. We are still in it, though. That was not good. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pass. Hope we're not dead. Oh, but oh, oh, thanks a bunch. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're trying. We're actually we're we're one zero so far this one. Like probably gonna be one one, but we had a really good first first match. Actually, got to see some really cool stuff. All right, that's fine. I feel like lots of terrible things are happening. All right. Well, we'll go to three. Do you have Lightning Bolt? All right, that's fine. Let me see what we would have drawn. Or not. Yeah. Oh, well. GG's, yeah. I mean, the fact that we even had outs there at the end, like, it's kind of cool. We did nothing for <laughs> better on the play. They are another Gigantha, the Wellspring. Um, I guess keep. Feels awkward having to keep. Yeah, I probably should be cutting. Like the the more I've been playing with this, like I guess like maybe I was just uh drawing it well. Like Utopia sprawls here are a bit awkward. Like we need some sort of a uh, like mid range engine. All right, and discard spells. This is not great. <laughs> I guess we're up against Jund. All right, that wasn't the, the worst draw. Waiting another discard spell. 
Oh, okay. This is the... Alright, cool. It is Jund. Alright, your turn, opponent. So, the question is, what are we going to uh, tutor for on their end stuff? Most likely, Spell Skite. Uh, let's see what they do on turn three. Kind of the important part. Alright, Renin Six, keeping up a one mana removal spell. Sure. If that's the case, what do I want to grab? Probably Spell Skite. Cancel. Tap this correctly. Spell Skype? My turn. Um. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Spell Skype there. Oh, all right. No fatal push on it. That was huge. We have a shot. All right. You have Urza Saga. What are we playing? Terminate? Okay. Tarmagoof? Tarmagoof is always nice. There it is. All right, let's top deck a Rod Priest and win the game. Like so. Um, Rod Priest. This is how you do it. Because, yeah, we're able to do this. Boop. Storm 2. Unigenic. And I need to grape shot my own creatures. Let's do it. <laughs> they tapped out and they died. That was gas. All right. So we have the veils. Um, that are pretty good to board in. What else would I want, maybe? Um, I'll actually have one Gather Courage. The Utopia Sprawls I can also cut. I guess, like, just leave the Abundant Harvest. Yeah, like, we can just be slower. I don't think they'll have much else. Um, do I want Thrasta? Not really. I guess now. Oh, it's up, uh, Jess. Oh, what did we lose to? We lost to, um... I believe it was Archon. I just kind of sat there, floated out, died. Oh, so I said, let's, yeah. This has uh, been like kind of the, the brew that I've been uh, working on with uh, Rot Priest myself for, for the call version. Like, I really need to flesh out the wish targets from the board. Um, I think that in the main deck, we just really don't want anything special. But yeah, like, the one target I've definitely neglected is the uh, Evoke one in a green um, Disenchant. That's that that definitely I think should be on the board over Fury the more the more and more I think about it. Just kinda lets us do stuff. Thrasta being kind of the being able to attack our opponent card. A little bit better than Niv Magus in this list. Board in. Um, I'll keep this. We have to get non land cards. Uh Niv Magus or Thrasta? Um Anytime we're not trying to combo or like, you know, might be like that their life total is kind of under attack. You can attack for seven. Like it's kind of a pivot. I don't know. It might not be that great, but that's the idea is having like kind of an empty the Warrens type card. So it's kind of more there to just like if you can attack twice, like Thrasta is like pretty resilient as well. Um as a creature, so it might be like 
pretty good against uh, some stuff. It's kind of the idea with it is like the one of like two mana, like do some stuff card. Ooh, okay. That's not good for me. Like in slower matchups and stuff. Like if we're just pure racing, we don't want it for sure. Okay. What do I do here? Good question. Yeah, I think the, yeah, we have to just spell sky to go. Your turn about it. Discard spell. That's gonna hurt. Nope, okay. I will accept fatal push though. That's not a big deal. Ragavan hitting us though is kinda starting to hurt. Mm -hmm. They're able to keep up so much uh, interaction. Oh, Temple Garden's gone. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. On one? Sure. Huh. Alright. Um, good card? What was a good card? Hmm. I'm gonna play Rod Priest here. Let's go to do. Alright. Return opponent. Like, if they want to blow up the engineered explosives, they can. Um, this is an interesting board state. Yeah, we're going to block Ragavan. What do you want to do, opponent? All right, there's the saga. Okay. We're tapping out. Sure. Not tapping out. Who do I want? Huh. We're at 11. So if I cast Packed, Ground Priest, or Rot Priest, Rot Priest. Three, Storm Four is Mutagenic. Five is Ground Rift. What all do you have? Question. Um. Hmm. All right, so we will Abundant Harvest. Land. We go to 10. Act. Rod Priest. Cast Rod Priest. Rod Priest. Okay. Um, or. Why did they not do anything? This one? So I have a mutagenic to play around a bolt on something. Like another one? Oh, are they just dead? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, my clients, all thanks so much for giving those five subs. Really appreciate that. Heck yeah, hope you're doing well, and see here, perfect time to welcome to the community. Okay. Who would like to play first? Oh, this game's fine. Keep. We have a turn one strike at Rich. We only have two lands in our opener. What is this? Ah, <laughs> uh, back and forth. Uh... Oh, uh, that, yeah. Hopefully it is going well, though. Let's see what we can do. I'm at mold to six. 
Um, yeah, I'll just uh, play the Strike the Rage fast turn. I'm going to hold back the Cantor for possible storm count considerations, but do want to accelerate for sure. Oh, nice. If, oh, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Heck yeah. Congrats, uh, my columns. How would I build Rotten Priest and Pioneer? Oh, I haven't thought that far yet for like some sort of toxic deck for for Pioneer. Maybe like something with Green White would be probably where I'd first start with like that. It's really like, you know, a lot of new stuff. Um, that'd be like where I'd first kind of look. Um, Abundant Harvest, non land. All right. Um, hmm. I'm going to actually play my spell sky here. Since I save a mana for next turn and I am actually equipped to win the game. Oh, do we die? Are we dead? Not dead. Okay. Green red. Green red. That wasn't bad. Owner's pact. Rot priest. Cantor. Rot priest. Um. Sure. Um. So I guess. Actually, hold up. Also, control. Ground Rift, target my creature. Um, so this is kind of cool. So basically what we do here is that we do the same target on all of them. Um, then we change the target uh for spell sky a few times on different copies of these there are nine and they're dead got them um oh march of burgeoning life uh that's an excellent question so like it seems like it'd be great to get like another copy of rod priest but um the fact that it'll like it, it requires at least three mana to work so it's not one in a green um, which is a big deal as well. Uh, so you have to most likely exile a card from your hand, like on the combo turn to get a second copy of Rot Priest, and you then have to have a copy of Rot Priest in play um, that you're able to, like, you know, kind of not target with it, but, you know, choose for it. So it is kind of a big, big ask. Um, so we're in the mirror. Huh. I guess Fury sounds real good. Found a use for Fury. <laughs> Um, I like the gut shots, got the courage. Utopia sprawl seems good. Save an abundant harvest. Do silence, I guess. Over. I am on the draw. I want to side something. Question. I guess now I'll just have one silence, one uh fury in. I guess. Um. So if they go for an aggressive uh, turn one Rod Priest, I have a, a way to turn to answer it. Uh, this hand seems fine. Oh, no problem, uh, Yellowstone. Yeah. Like, I wish we could utilize that card. Yeah, oh, let me grab my coffee. Or <laughs> Yeah, this one seems decent for a uh, an opener. Or they kept a seven. Do I want to keep this? Actually, no, I'll keep this, yeah. They kill me on... They have to kill me on turn two on the play, which is a lot to ask. 
kind of sometimes. They're also black green, so okay, they're they're just normal impact. But I was also thinking maybe. Um silence could also be. What else should keep track of? Um alright, one sub to you, it's your turn. So we're definitely faster. That's good to know. Plague Stinger, I accept. Uh, we'll get Temple Garden. Fine. That was a good draw. I just kill that? I think I just kill that. I can go... Yeah, this is fine. Um, the reason I'm doing this instead of just grape shotting it, which might seem really counterintuitive, because I can just do that, is um, I think I have to kill it to not die next turn, most likely, and uh, this way I can Eladomri's call for I, I have a kill next turn if they don't do if they tap out. Infected a rock priest economy, yeah. <laughs> When Infect is the slow and steady, right? Are we dead? I'll be dead. All right, opponent's dead. Could get a uh, forest there. So all Domri's call. Rod Priest. And regardless of what they drew, so we could, uh, yeah, on our turn, pack for Rat Priest. The Storm is one. Storm two, Priest. Storm three, Priest. And then it'd be Storm four, Mutagenic. Storm five, Ground Rift. Um, I have two Mutagenics, which is nice. Let's just get this value. Boop. Dead you. That was quick. <laughs> I will gladly keep this. Um. Yeah, turn one, fetch. Grab green white. Yes, I will pay two life. One and harvest. Go ahead. How's the burn matchup? Um. Not great. It's worse. We're, we like have to spend all of our life on uh, stuff, so it's like really kind of awkward. Like we do have the spell guides a little bit to help, but it's it's not the best since we really kind of have the awkward uh, Eidolon problem. Okay, so we're up against. Oh, is this Spike stack? The eight uh, eight goblin stack thing. That's fine. All right. Um, I mean, your turn. I feel like bad things happen to me now. <clears throat> what is burn? Yeah, that that idolon, that idol, that that pesky idolon back that we all know and love, right? Who are we? What are we doing? Probably should have played the Venerated Rat Priest, maybe? Oh, no. Okay. You're doing that? That's fine. I have a feeling Fury is coming in in this matchup. Alright. Let's draw Ground Rift. Not Ground Rift. Um... So, save that, that's 10, 12. Yeah, so, I will just play Rod Priest. Your turn, opponent. Yeah, I probably should have played, I should have played both Rod Priests here, I think. No, no, this is correct. If they have the Bushwhacker, this is really bad for me. 
But if they bushwhack tapping out, um, good stuff can happen. If you're attacking for five. And I'm not going to block. I should have blocked one of these. Whoops. The seven. If you have double uh, goblin grenade, I died anyway. Am I dead? Targeting there? Um, that's fine. Oh, okay. Cut off the rebirth. That's fine. <clears throat> so I can go to six and then only re nope, we're dead. Unfortunate. Don't have a way to get through there. Might have been a mistake to cast the Rod Priest. Uh, the, but yeah, they're they're playing like yeah, the, the popper popper shell that's good in uh in modern. Um let's see. I definitely want the Fury. Grape shot's actually okay. Put out a couple of these. Probably. Um, what do I want to board in? What will they have for me? Part of me thinks that I should just board in like a nature's claim. Or actually, no. I'll just board in a gather courage. Hold off on that. Board out two abundant harvest. A little bit slower. Keeping the utopia sprawl since we do want to race. What can we do in this situation? Oh, okay, this is good. I will keep this. So here I'm going to fetch um, green red. Choose green. Since I have a lot of green spells, so if I want to kind of cast them for mana, I can. Take some of the mutagenic here. Kind of. All stuff. All right. Um, I'm gonna cast spell sky. Say go. What is our opponent doing? This turn could be real good. Or, ooh, okay. They're not doing much, so maybe they're holding up interaction. Good for me. Um, draw. Huh. Um. Can I kill the opponent? That is the question. Can I kill them? Arm count can be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, let's kill the opponent. Rap priest. Cantor, Rat Priest. Okay. We are good to go. Then I can ground rift it. Do this. I was afraid of Lightning Bolt. Um, and then I can, uh, so I'll get six triggers on uh, this and I, and then I can redirect with Spell Sky. That was uh, what I was thinking about. And if they cast it one other spell in between there, would have been able to get the extra poison. Yeah. Oh, they, they did look pretty dead. Um, cool. Yep, your turn, opponent. They don't have much interaction for us, I guess, so. We're not in terrible shape. Um, this hand is fine. Play that. Your turn, opponent. Are we going to get to do the grape shot stuff for coolness? It'll be sweet if we get to do like some fun grape shot. Fun grape shot action or no? What are they playing? Uh, they're playing the uh, 8 Kadatha Rebirth deck with the new uh, Demolition card. So you have like all the 1-1 one, one goblins. I, I saw Spike was definitely was running this earlier today on stream. All right. 
Rebirth is fine. Who we draw? We draw ground drift, they die. That's a card. Um So I'm actually gonna fetch a forest here. What would be the correct call? Because if I draw a mana source next turn, I can win the game. So I'm actually going to Morphos here for green red. I want to kill a lot of their creatures too, if I can. All right, well, we would have drawn the mana source for what we need. Um, so. Yeah, I'm just going to pass, actually. Your turn opponent. Not going to kill their creatures. Since we drew this mana source here, I'm able to actually win the game next turn. Since I had two mana here, would it have been enough? No, it wouldn't have been enough. Since it would have been Storm 1, 2, 3, or Storm 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, I could have killed them last turn. Never mind. I derped. Uh, no, I was one short, because I'd have to double gut shot first. So now, I screwed up. Am I dead? Yep, I'm dead. Unfortunate. So we lost the match there. Um, I I was one short of killing the last turn since I would have been able to storm up to storm eight since it would have been one for the Morphos, uh, two and three for the two packs, getting uh, Cantor and um, Rod Priest. Then Storm 4 for the Cantor, Storm 5 for the Rat Priest, Storm 6 and 7 would have been the two uh, gut shots, and then Storm 8 would have been the uh, Rape Shot, but I can't gut shot twice on my uh, Rat Priest, so I was one short. <laughs> no, that was cool. So let's open our, our victory chest here before we get into the next league with uh, some Stormin'. Uh, could we grape shot their board and still win next turn? Yeah. Well, we like what would have been the plan? I would have uh, grape shotted two of their creatures and held on to the, the two gut shots. But yeah, I could have uh, grape shotted a little bit of their board. But I was holding it back because it was the only storm spell we had. All right. Cool. Interesting stuff. All right. But yeah, that would have been um, another uh, possible play. So let's. Uh, we're gonna switch it up here to some modern. I'm <laughs> sorry.